In this video, we'll look at SketchUp's extension warehouse and how to install the extensions you see there. Access it from within SketchUp with this icon. There's also a toolbar for both the model and extension warehouses and you can access it at View, Toolbars, and then click on Warehouse. So I'm going to click on this now. And this brings up the Extension Warehouse. An extension is simply another tool that you download and use alongside SketchUp's native tools. Think of it as a phone app. You download apps from the App Store to do specific things that you're interested in. You can filter a search by clicking on all categories and these are the categories you can specifically look for extensions in. If I click on interior design these are extensions that could be useful for design projects. If I click on 3D printing, I'll find another curated group. So there's a lot of great stuff here. If I want an extension that will do a specific task for me, I can also type in what that task is and hopefully find it that way. Perhaps I want to find a tool that will draw Bezier curves. Here are some options. This looks like it might do what I want. I'll click on it. And here is some information the different developers will provide different information on their extensions. Some have videos, some just have written instructions, some charge for their extensions, and others make them free. I'm going to click Install, and I will often get this message, especially for older extensions, and I have found that they still work anyhow, so I'm going to click Yes. I'll click Yes again, and then OK. Back in the SketchUp software, finding the extension can be a little tricky. A lot of them will show up under the Extension menu. Some will show up under Tools. Some, like the one we just downloaded, will show up under Draw. Others will show up in a context menu, and yet others will show up in the toolbars, and they won't be activated, so you'll have to click on them to activate them. You can see them all in the Extension Manager. If you want to turn off an extension, then disable it and apply changes. Or enable it and apply changes. Use this button to install an extension that you downloaded outside of SketchUp, such as at a different website, like Sketchication. Click on Install Extension, navigate to the extension, make sure that this says Ruby Files, and then Open. And there it is, and it's enabled. And we can find it under Mirror Selection, and the tool even opened up. Let's take a look at the Bezier curve that we downloaded earlier. Click on it. 
we need a surface to draw it on. Click, click, and click to place. I'll connect the edges and push pull. And here you see that this is a shape that I could not get with any of SketchUp's native tools. And that's the beauty of extensions. They let you do things that you couldn't otherwise do. And that's the extension warehouse.